You're on. Hi, this is Scott Welch of Muscle Insider Magazine. I'm here live doing a Periscope the night before the night before Christmas. And I just want to tell all of you out there that if you're dieting because you have a contest coming up in the spring, don't be too bad this week, at, this week on the holidays. But uh, you know what, you can get away with some as well. Remember, turkey is even lower in fat than chicken, but uh, you've got potatoes, you've got vegetables, you've got all kinds of different things. But don't convince yourself that having this cheat meal, having this cheat feast, you're gonna increase your metabolic rate and you're gonna actually burn more calories than you're gonna store from eating all the excess food because that's total nonsense. Everybody deserves a break from the diet. Obviously, uh, everybody deserves to have the cheap foods that we all want. Just keep it in check. Keep the protein high. If you're gonna overeat in anything, eat more of the white turkey meat because that's actually lower in fat than the dark turkey meat. That's why it's so dry and tastes awful. Well, it doesn't taste awful, but the dark meat always tastes better. So eat, load up on the turkey. That's gonna obviously keep you well fed. Load up on the vegetables. Fantastic way to obviously increase and make micronutrients. But you know what? You guys are looking at me right now, and I'm actually in my parents' home gym, and I wanted to show you how much they support what I've been doing and what the team with Dominic and Will and Jamie Filer and Big Dave and Dino over there in England and Brian and Janet and everybody have done to help us. And they actually have kept every issue of Muscle Insider. Cameraman, come on and show the people the very first issue right here. Muscle Insider Magazine, right here. Very first issue, right here, you're looking at. The very first issue. And the whole collection here. Issue number two, first one in Canada that ever happened. Issue number three, Dorian, our friend from England. Issue number th four was actually another issue with Dorian on the cover. And uh, then we had the great Lee Haney. Over here, we had Mr. Olympia, Phil Heath. Back over here, Cameron. <laughs> the gift, Phil Heath right here and then we went into the Arnold issue at that time it became an annual thing where we would always have Arnold on the cover of every issue that happens in March at the Arnold Classic and that uh, brings us to the, the uh, next issue we had uh, Ronnie Coleman he was at the Toronto Pro Show so he of course went on the cover of this issue to introduce it check it out most muscular there it is obviously the man the myth the eight-time Mr. Olympia Tied Arnold's, uh, tied Lee Haney's record over here. Lee Haney had it eight times as well for the Olympia, and uh, Ronnie tied that but never beat that. So there's only two men have ever done eight time Mr. Olympia. Went back to Phil Heath. Then we went to the very first non Olympian to ever be on the cover of Muscle Insider, and it's a fellow Canadian, Mr. Ben Pakulski, the very first non Olympia cover model. The Pac Man was fantastic. Uh, great model. We got great feedback from this issue. Going further then, we go back here now. This is the Dexter Jackson issue, also an Olympian. Uh, this was a good issue here, very popular. And then we went into Arnold again on the annual. Every single March we put Arnold on the cover and that brings me to tell you now that this March we're going to have Arnold again for the, this will be our sixth year anniversary issue. And Arnold will be, it'll be a special Arnold issue. Everything you want to know about Arnold will be in here. But bring us back here. Fuad Abiyad on the cover on this one. This was done at the Toronto Pro Show. Uh, Fuad looked really great that year. He placed second, unfortunately. We had counted on him for first, or Victor Martinez beat him, unfortunately. So he would have been uh, the winner of the Toronto Pro Show that year, but unfortunately didn't. Larry Vinette, very good looking guy. Great set of abs on this guy. And uh, cover uh, photographed by Alex Ardenti, designed by Will McEwen, fantastic designer. Then we've got Nutribolics athlete, Henry Pierano, IFB pro from Canada, from Montreal. He was on a cover model for that issue. Uh, then we've got Torontonian Chris White on the cover, IFB pro as well. Very symmetrical physique. Never really got his due, didn't really market himself that effectively, but a really nice guy all the same and uh, really awesome. He's based in uh, Markham or Markham area. He's got a personal training uh, facility that he works out of there. Fantastic guy. Back to Arnold. Then we went to my man, Sean Roden. Uh, this guy is fantastic, as you guys know. 
Uh, he is going to win the Olympia. He's a top three finalist pretty much every year. Very symmetrical, trains out of Gold's Venice, one of my favorite bodybuilders, self-spoken, soft-spoken, and uh, amazing, amazing physique. Over here with Jeremy Patterson, Mr. Abs. Then we went over to Sebastian. Oh, sorry. What the hell is this guy's name? I always forget his name. He's going to kill me for this. Oh, man, I cannot remember. My brain is not working today. Low carbs. I'm dieting down for the Arnold Classic. But look at that midsection. Fantastic. Awesome physique in this guy. Uh, just killing me that I can't remember it, but it'll come to me. Um, so then, I oh, we go over here. Another cover here. Fantastic athlete. That's <laughs> He's regarded as the next Arnold. Then we have... Mr. Mutant Johnny Dahl, one of our favorite pro, or he's a pro to be, uh, amateur, but he will be pro, mark my words. Arnold here in the Arnold issue. One of my favorite pictures here. Check out the pecs on that guy. Uh, fantastic physique. Fake jeans. By the way, those are fake jeans. Those are not real jeans. Those were superimposed by our artist, but you didn't know that. But anyways, there you get the behind the scenes. Now this next issue was probably our most popular issue to date. And that was uh, the very first fitness bodybuilding magazine cover that DLB ever did. We did it first. The only magazine she'd ever been on the cover of before the shoot was done for Power Mag, I believe it is, uh, Chris Bell's magazine. Uh, we were the first. Muscular Development shot her the same day for a feature. We put it on social media that she would be on the cover at the Arnold Classic uh, 2015. And uh, by coincidence, four weeks later, they had her on the cover first, but we were the first to announce she would be on a cover. We're a bi-monthly magazine, so we did it as quick as we can. They beat us by four weeks, but uh, that's Diego that. Sebastian. Diego Sebastian is his name. <laughs> I'm sorry, Diego. I had drinks with the man in Vegas. He's a fantastic guy. Ripped, he's with Sand Nutrition, great company out of California. He's based in LA. Check him out. We did a video with him. He's in his 40s, if you can believe that. That's some of the greatest abs uh, you've ever seen. Not to take anything away from the Pac Man, Ben Pakulski here, fellow Canadian. He lives in Tampa. One of the smartest, if not, I'd have to say the smartest IFB pro when it comes to physiology and exercise physiology. He knows so much. It's insane. I had the chance to train legs with the Pac-Man. He has the greatest legs in bodybuilding right now, obviously. Uh, and um, even, even Dino from Dino's Gym TV, if you look him up, you'll love his videos. He trained legs with the Pac-Man and he puked. Dino, that is, but he said he swallowed it just to say face to the Pac-Man. Didn't give, want to give the Pac-Man the props that he deserved. Anyways, it was a good, uh, good cover. I think that uh, a lot of people didn't know that this was the Pac-Man. We launched this at uh, the Toronto Pro Show. Uh, we had a CrossFit uh, section in here. That's obviously CrossFit's quite popular. Had the hammer kind of looking like the CrossFit, uh, as if he was doing CrossFit. But um, obviously, great, uh, very popular athlete. Really like the Pac-Man. Going through here, this is Callum Van Moger. He was a gentleman as, the, as regarded as the next Arnold. Check it out on youtube.com slash TV on Callum Van Moger. You can see the video we did with him. Thanks to Dave Mad Max Berle. Uh, he did a video with him in LA. Callum's a great guy. Down here, Jeremy Bondia. Jeremy Bondia. First men's physique uh, Olympia winner, and uh, actually, sorry, the second, uh, Mark Wingson was the first. He's won it on two occasions, though, so he is right now the reigning men's physique Mr. Olympia winner. Very popular physique, and the man, the myth, the legend, C.T. motherfucking Fletcher. This is him. It's still your motherfucking set. This right now is on newsstands. Go to Chapters or Indigo. You will find this. You got everything you want to know about C.T. Fletcher. You see his new Isatory supplement line. And uh, CT is a very inspirational guy. Fantastic. He's got his Iron Attic gym, uh, the toque on there. But uh, that's about it. Listen, it's uh, the night before the night before Christmas. And I hope that you're sticking to your diet. You're training hard. You're getting in some workouts this holiday season. You're not going to slack because I know you won't because you're hardcore enough to be watching this Periscope on Muscle Insider, which means you live the lifestyle. 
You love the lifestyle, and I really got to thank you. This is Scott Welch, the publisher of Muscle Insider. Thanks for checking out this Periscope on the night before the night before Christmas. Now, stop watching this video. Get to the fucking gym. It's time to burn the calories that you're going to be consuming after this Periscope's over. Thanks very much for checking us out.